So let's say you're having some problems with your system. Uh, games aren't running good, uh, stuttering, whatever. Uh, you've reinstalled drivers, whatever. You're not sure. It's time to get some utilities to, so you can analyze your system. So two of the best utilities to do this are CPU-Z and HW Monitor. And you can download them, fortunately, from the same site. Uh, we'll take a look at that. So let's go to CPU-Z first. And we see download. And they have different formats here for uh, different things, even Windows 98. But here's the one that you download an installer. That uh, basically is easy, easiest to use. So we click on Downware now. And, and like every other software, you're going to say Save As, wherever you have it. I have all mine in my downloads directory under uh, CPU-Z. And uh, go ahead and let it download. And it'll pop up and uh, tell you to uh, it's run a security scan, open the folder, and then you can run the install from there. By the way, with, as with all downloads, you can choose the Run button instead. And it'll download it to a temporary directory and install it. Uh, but I choose to keep mine in my own download directory. So if I need it, I can run it again. As you might have noticed, I have some other versions there that I've done in the past. Uh, but instead of doing that one right now, we're going to go instead go over here to get to the hardware monitor. Do not have to do Pro. There's a free version right here. We click on it as well, just like we did with uh, CPU-Z. And we say Download Now and uh, download it to uh, your storage space. Now, I've already uh, downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to cancel out of the download here. Uh, but you go ahead and do that just like you did the other one and do that. And then we want to go take a look at uh, where they're at. So I'm going to go back to my download directory and click on CPU. This is where I have them at. And run the installs from here. And these are sort of straightforward. I'll give you a quick look here. Uh, it's a typical installation where it says blah, blah, blah. You click on this. So you can finish these on your own, and uh, I'm not going to go into them right there. Let's take a look at the actual programs. OK, I've uh, installed it. Here's the installation icon. And let's go here and click on it. And it'll start detecting everything about your system. So if we look here, uh, as it comes up, you see the processor is the first thing you'll see. I have an older uh, Intel Core i7 2600. The code name, the package number, voltages, specification with family, a lot of the things that you don't really care about. Uh, but the idea there is that if you needed to know this information about what you have, uh, it tells you that. It also tells you uh, how performance is. Here's the size of your caches, you know, again, nothing you really need to know. But here's your motherboard, for example. There's your model number of your motherboard in case you're looking for something. Uh, it tells you what it supports and all that. Now, moving on, let's go over to memory. It tells you what type of memory, how much I have installed, RAM frequency, again, stuff that you don't uh, usually need to know. Oh, one thing, though, it tells you that it's in dual channel mode. And that means that you have two exact same chips working together and increases the speed of your uh, system. But here, each one of my slots is indicated what exact uh, PC bandwidth it is, who is made by, the exact part number for that which is important because when you want dual channel, you want to have the exact same part number. You can have uh, two different chips with the same speed specifications, but they won't necessarily operate in dual channel mode. So I bought the exact same ones. That's really up to you. But at least this tells you what's going on in your system. And for a high level, for a basic understanding, you'll be able to easily find your part number. Again, for the tech types that are watching the video, this is the, you can go ahead in depth here. I, I, my videos don't go into that kind of depth. I'm to help the average user. But if we go on to graphics. Here's the uh, my video card, a 960 GTX. A little older card as well on this system. Tells you exactly how much memory you have and all that. But again, gives you your model in case you're doing some research and you want to find out uh, how to do that. Now, there are some benchmarkings you can do. You can look here and benchmark one against the other. I don't use these. Again. Maybe you want to look at a newer system and you can see the benchmarks against that. But anyways, here it is. tells you what build of uh, windows you're on. You can save some reports and do that kind of stuff as well. OK, now that we've done uh, CPU ID, let's take a look at the hardware monitor. It gives you much of the same information as far as the ID parts of your system. But now we're going to go into much more detail. 
Uh, for example, here's the same motherboard you saw in the other program, but now we can look at the voltages. Good to know if maybe the power supply is having problems. Uh, now this is just a high level. Uh, temperatures, uh, same thing. You can see what the temperatures on your different areas of your motherboard are at. And besides the temperatures, you can take, even take a look and see if your fans are spinning. And these are the fans I have hooked up uh, to certain plugs on the motherboard. It tells you exactly uh, what their speeds are. System memory, how much memory is being used. Uh, back again to the Intel 2600. Uh, voltages, temperatures of the particular cores and everything, uh, power and all that. Now you can go down and you can take a look at all these different specifications and packages and get very detailed about this. You can take a look at how much utilization, how much your processor is being utilized. Task Manager does the same thing, by the way. But it tells you what the clock rate is of the thing, all that. Uh, good information to have. So you can also come down uh, here a little bit further and take a look at all your hard drives. This is my uh, uh, 44 terabyte hard drive, I believe, and the temperatures on that, how much space is used. On my Samsung boot drive, there's uh, temperatures on that. All these are important because as it gets too hot, uh, you don't want them to overheat and it could lead to early failure. I have fan cases that blow air across there. But you can just get an idea here of what's going on uh, with those. Uh, down here again, we're talking about the GT960 uh, video card, its temperatures. Now, the fan speed is not being reported down here. Uh, I'm not concerned about that. I know it's working. I physically checked it. Uh, just this program isn't picking it up. But the idea here is you want to make sure that you're not overheating uh, on your video card. So now that you have these installed, you have both the hardware monitor and the ID, what can you use this for? Well, let's say you see something that you don't like about the voltages or uh, process, or your system is running funny. Uh, you're not sure exactly what the ranges should be here. Well, you can go at the Bing or Google or wherever you want to go to and put that exact problem or exact description in your search engine. And say, oh, I want to know about the 2600 temperature range. Now, in your search results, you'll find all sorts of links. Uh, even Intel won't tell you what the temperature ranges are, but I found this on uh, Tom's Hardware. Great site for tech stuff. You'll see here that there are temperature ranges in one of the responses and uh, explains uh, uh, what they should be in the range. And if, whether you're using centigrade or Fahrenheit, you can see whether or not you're operating within the uh, correct ranges. And you can do this for any component on your, key, on your system, whether it's your CPU, your video card, hard drives, whatever. You can find it on the internet just by searching for that and the specification you want. So there you have it, two uh, programs you should have in your arsenal to identify your components on your system and to check some of the performance uh, metrics such as speed, temperature, uh, utilization, and that. Uh, so go ahead and download them. The links are in the description of the video. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.